Few days ago, IISC released exam date schedule for GATE 2024, which was tentative. This has now become a standard practice to call things as tentative due to situations beyond control like COVID. But there are certain situations which are not out of control and which can be planned properly. For example, if you look at the exam schedule which was earlier released, GATE ME mechanical and GATE PI were on the same date, morning and afternoon schedule. Now, unless and until the center is same, it is almost impossible that a person who has filled both of them can attend both of them, right? It's not possible that in morning you are attending one test in one center in one city and in the afternoon you are attending some different test, some different exam in a different city. Right. Even in the same city, it might not be possible because coming out of center and entering another center, that takes some, si some time and there is some buffer time allocated as well. As a nahi ki dhai baje exam hai, to aap do pachis pe maha pe pragat ho jayenge aur wo aapko entry de denge. Aisa nahi honne wala hai. All in all, it is practically impossible unless and until the center are same for the two exams. And this was one of the major issues with the previous timetable that they had released. Shortly after releasing the timetable, IISC removed the timetable and I was expecting that in the updated timetable, this issue will be fixed. Recently, the updated timetable came out and guess what? This issue is still not fixed. ME and PI are still on the same date. What they changed that XC, they moved from 4th of February to 10th of February. So they gave a gap of one week between ME and XC. Now, what is my take on this? What is my reasoning why I think they would have done that? And what should you do from that information? I think such issue of clashing to paper one and paper two on the same day will be happening in some other combinations as well. Other than ME and PI, it will be happening in other combinations as well. You know why? Because now so many paper one, paper two combinations are there that there will be more and more such clashes. In fact, for GATE 2024, they announced some new paper two combinations as well, which increases such possibilities. In such cases, what ISC would be doing that on the basis of number of aspirants writing an exam, they would be deciding the priority. For example, XE is written increasingly by more and more aspirants. If you take the major branches, in those major branches, obviously mechanical and civil are two major branches which write XC, which can write XC as their second paper. In fact, in the new combination, they added even more big and small branches which can write XC as their second paper. So definitely XE number of aspirants who are going to appear is going to be way higher as compared to PI, which originally also was not that large and now that number is going to go even down because of such clashes. So IISC what they would be doing that they would be preferring XE and clashes of XE as compared to clashes of other small papers due to which they have shifted XE to a date to a week where less clashes are possible and that could be a reason why they have shifted the date of XE to one week later. But that brings us to a question that is it fair to the aspirants who have already filled their second choices? There are many students who have filled MEPI combination and it is practically now impossible to attend, right? So not only they have wasted money in paying for the second paper, I guess, but also one biggest loss is the loss of opportunity, right? They could have filled XC and in, instead of PI. And that loss cannot be compensated. Four, five hundred rupees is not going to be a major loss in many years from now or many months. But loss of one entire paper is definitely can potentially become loss of one year if your primary first paper does not go well. So in my opinion, it is not a good way forward for GATE to keep adding more and more and more paper to combinations. Students not knowing if they will be able to attend both of them, even after paying for both of them, definitely not a good management uh, overall. I'm, I'm not uh, very much uh, happy about it. Now, at their end also, they are not entirely wrong because I can understand that based upon number of registrations, they have to arrange the paper, right? Registration has to come first. 
because on that basis only they will be able to get an idea of how many aspirants are registering for what type for what exam and then they can do the uh, set the combination accordingly but for such practical cases where it's not possible for student to attend more than one exam or paper they definitely should consider giving them at least a refund if not the option to change the second exam let us see if anything comes up because the tentative tag is still there until the time you don't get your admit card obviously things can change there are two things from uh, here that you can do now firstly assume that your paper is on third or fourth okay assume it from the point of view of preparation don't leave anything after third or after fourth to be done okay that will give you an edge only right you will get one extra week only even if your exam is on 10th and point number two is that don't waste too much of your mind space into that i made this video because i had made the earlier video where i announced the timetable the exam schedule that's why i just wanted to give the correct information otherwise i would not have wasted your time into this eventually whatever is going to happen you will be able to see that in your admit card so till that time don't let it occupy your mind space focus work hard just in case you missed the first mock gate of exergic don't worry the second mock gate is coming very soon on 23rd of december this month so make sure to attend that to get a realistic idea of your preparation and how can you improve it i wish you all the best